Today we're going to check out how to make this a retro chrome text effect here in Photoshop. I got to go and right click on the text, convert a smart object, and let's double click here on the text layer. Let's go and activate the bevel and emboss and make sure that the style is on inner bevel, technique is on smooth, increase the depth all the way to 1000. Size, I'm going to decrease it. So as you can see, it's going to reduce the distortion as much as possible. I'm going to try 21. I'm going to increase the softness a little bit more. Now take that in mind to adjust these settings according to your artboard size. And I'm going to go to the angle a little bit on the left, somewhere around 120-ish. Activate the gradient overlay, click on it. I'm going to pull the white here, double click, and I'm going to make it gray somewhere here. Click OK. I'm going to add another one here, make it black. Click OK, pull it to the right, click OK. My angle is on 110 and I'm gonna adjust the scale as well. As you can see, it's pushing away the dark areas. You also can decrease the opacity. So these corners won't be 100% black. I gotta go with 80, click OK. And now we're gonna go to the adjustments. Let's go to the curves and we're gonna start increasing the contrast quite a bit. And I'm gonna bring it down from here. And as you can see, it starts to create this metallic look. And I'm gonna add another one here just to bring it up somewhere. I can actually push it to the extreme, something in this nature. I gotta select the curve layer, press Ctrl J to duplicate the curve layer. Now it's gonna push it, this chrome effect, to the extreme. And I'm gonna readjust the top curve here. And I'm gonna, so this is going to create some new extreme results. All right, I kind of like it. But as you can see, we got some anti-aliasing around the letters. So we're gonna need to fix that. I gotta select the layer with the text, press and hold Alt, drag it above everything. So it's gonna create a duplicate. I'm gonna remove the gradient overlay, just drag and drop here to the bin. Also remove the bevel and emboss, drag and drop into the bin, double click on the layer, I decrease the fill opacity, activate the stroke, Make sure the position is in the center and I'm going to go with two. Now we don't have that anti-aliasing around. Press and hold shift, select all layers, right click, convert a smart object. Let's go to the filter, noise, add noise. I'm going to go with amount six, monochrome, click OK. Let's go to adjustments, scroll down, select gradient map, click on the gradient. And I'm going to add here a blue perp ish add a pink click ok add an orange ok and add also a yellow click ok i'm gonna adjust the colors and click ok and this is how i make this a retro chrome grungy text effect here in photoshop thanks for watching